Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be another makeup video. I know I've done a lot of makeup videos lately. I think I'm starting to get more into that on this channel. Let me know if you guys are liking that or not. But I've been super, super stoked, super excited about this video. I just had to have the time to film it and to really give you guys my wholehearted opinion about this palette. I have waited like for two weeks now, guys. Two weeks. Just to show you guys and just to film my first impression. As you guys can see of the title of the video, this is going to be the kind of like a tutorial and a review on the Bratz with collaboration in the Revolution. I picked the one that I thought would work best with my skin tone that would be easier to make a eye look out of rather than doing like the Chloe palette for an example. Just because the Chloe palette is definitely an out there kind of look but I have reviewed and I've reviewed and I've gotten so much information for you guys for this video and I'm also going to go over the Bratz collaboration with the Revolution um, eye pencils as well so these are the two items that I got from the collaboration um, shout out to Revolution for putting these out there like these are insanely awesome the amount of reviews that are on these palettes is crazy so I am super stoked to show you guys this. I was a Bratz girl. I played with Bratz dolls forever when I was little. Like, I love them. I have to find them. Like, I wanted to find them for this video, but I can't. I don't know where they are. I haven't seen them in years. But the fact that they're now a makeup palette is totally dope. That part, I want to jump in to what I'm going to be filming next. It's going to be a little bit of a different video. Let me know if you guys are excited for it or not. Kind of give me your idea and your opinions before I film it. But it's going to be on kind of some tips and tricks on shoes and what types of shoes and what works best for me. Hopefully that can help you guys out in the long run when you're working like a long job, long standing job, whatever. And you just need to find the right types of shoes. Yeah. So, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in. And stop rambling, so let's get it. Okay, guys, so we're just going to jump right into the details of the Bratz collection. Um, Revolution did come out with this line of palettes and line of makeup. So, this palette I looked online, and it definitely retails online and in stores for $22. That's all the doll palettes. There's four doll palettes. But I went through and I looked at all four of those, and I definitely picked this one because this palette definitely reminds me of fall time and it also was the one that I felt like I could do the best type of eye look for you so guys. This retails for $22. The bigger one that has like all the four dolls on the front of it is like a 10 pan and that one I think retails for, for like $28 so it's not too much more expensive. I'm excited to see since this was kind of a cheap palette but it's nice quality is what I can tell so far and watching other reviews people are pretty impressed with the pigment and everything like that and I'll be giving you all of my opinions in this video so with the packaging this far I love the fact that it is like ombre purple and it goes into like a lighter purple it has the shimmer of like the brats it's totally brats it has a total of 18 total eyeshadows in it six of them are matte eyeshadows and then 12 of them are shimmer eyeshadows this is totally so cute. Like, even on here, it's holographic. I love that. That totally adds to it. And then just the doll herself and the colors, like, the nice, the actual nice packaging of this. And I love the shape of these. Like, I've never seen a shape of a palette like this. So it's totally unique, totally cute. Love it. Great job on the packaging, guys. All right, guys. So, oh, my goodness. This is so cute. Look at that mirror. That's an awesome size mirror. That is so cool. Okay, I love how it's an hourglass figure at this point of the palette. This is awesome. I love how they have the little animals prints on the actual paper itself. And I love how the names are on the actual palette. Oh my god, this is so freaking gorgeous. Look at those shadows. All right, so we're gonna put this palette to the test, guys. I'm gonna swatch all these on my forearm. Um, I'm going to swatch these and then I'll jump into these and we'll get started. 
Okay guys, so I didn't film me swatching all of these because I wanted to think about it, but I want to give my full on opinion about some of these shades here, especially this one here. This one is Latest Hits in the Sasha palette, and I wanted to give my opinion about this one last to see how it sits on the face and on the eyes. There is a lot of fallout with this. This one is definitely a very powdery shadow. It's probably the most powdery one of them all. I'd say this one comes in second, which is Choreography. And then the Smoothie Bar and the Vibe Check is the other ones that are probably the most powderiest. Now, I was kind of shocked with the pigment at first because the very first ch shade I tried right here, which is called a Mixed Tape, um, that one really I had to put on a couple different times, like recode it a couple different times because the pigment did not want to show up on my fair tone skin as much. Now granted, I know I'm a very fair, fair complected skin type and that, with that being said, I understand this palette may have been made for more darker skinned people here. Now these have amazing, I am very shook with the amount of shadows you're getting here. You're getting 18 total eyeshadows and include six matte shades, 12 of these shimmer shades. Some of these are metallic. Um, I love the full mirror. The amount of shadows that you get for this type of price is awesome. It's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to tell you guys all of these shades and then we're going to jump in to the pencils. I went across so I did this. So with this first one, this one is called Mixtape. It's a corally, kind of like a peachy tangerine color. This is more of a pinky coral. This is Got Your Back here. This one. So this one here is Got Your Back. This pinky redder one is a shimmer, and it's scorched. I like that one a lot. This one here is B.I.P. Then you got Strike a Pose, another favorite. Beanie. This is super cute. I, with this one, I was kind of expecting more of a purple instead of a deeper blue. That's okay. And then in this one, this hop to it. I definitely thought that one would have more pigmentation to it. But I'm not judging it because I'm not putting them on my eyes. Then the next one we have is Choreography, Bunny Boo, Smoothie Bar, Latest Hits. And then we have Camo. And then we have Don't Freak. Vibe check. Okay, so then we have In Charge, Name and Lights, Ruvalicious, and a Center Stage. Okay, guys, so for the next step, I have the eye pencil set from the Revolution Collection Rats. For all four of these together, retail for $15 online and in stores. I am so don't. Okay, let's get started. All right, so the first one we have is Yasmin. Oh my God, the pigment and the daggone texture is amazing. Super pretty, and that is what this looks like here. All right, so the next one we have is this mauvey purple. This is in Jade. Oh my gosh, these colors and the softness of these are that's so pretty. All right, the next one we have is Chloe. This one is Chloe here. And the last one we have is Sasha. Guys, this is killing me right now. Like, I can't even. Oh, my gosh. That is so freaking pretty. Ah! Okay, I have to jump in. I'm too excited. I got to get started. I'm going to place, excuse my dogs if they start barking. I just can't keep stopping and starting place is the Marc Jacobs eye primer here and the reason I'm doing it without anything on my eyeballs is because I want to get the full effect and I got my eyebrows on for you yesterday guys so y'all better feel special all right here we go so good y'all no idea how I'm doing right now oh. now what we do today don't really have a game plan but we're gonna go for it so I'm gonna jump in with the mixed tape here this sh first shade I'm gonna kind of use that as a transition shade so I'm just gonna kind of apply that in my crease area all over my lid I'm just going to do a windshield wiper motion and go out a little bit. Nice, nice. I'm going to press this far. So 
actually got a lot more great pigment than I thought it did. I'm going to jump in with Smoothie Bar Pro Drawing Shadow Brush. This is number 41. And I'm going to go in the corners of my eyes with this yellow. It's like an off yellow. anymore but it's like a flatter fluffier brush pack some of that color in there and just go over it and bring it a little bit above the mixed tape shade just like so all right so now I'm going to jump right in with strike a pose first Ooh, it's got some fallout all right now I'm going to take this up right below and bring it out some but not cover up that yellow yet. Definitely, Definitely blending really nicely. Oh, and the brush I'm using right now is by Beauty Treats and this is EO4 and it's kind of an angled fluffy brush. Again, same thing on this eye. And I blended it up into right below the eyebrow bone, which is right here. Mixed tape shade, so I'm going to go back in with that. Put that right in the center of the crease. Alright, and I'm going to go back in with the yellow shade here, the smoothie bar. I'm loving this look already. It's about to change. I just love these three colors together, they look awesome. And I'm going to go now in with the shade Latest Hits here. All right, dipping into latest hits. That's the one that is super folly out, folly out. All right, so I'm stamping this right on the outer corner of my eye here, blending it in with the pink shade and taking it in some. These shades have some mad, I mean, mad skill for blending. Same on this eye. Just stamping and kind of pushing it where I want it. And I'm going to jump in with the Vibe Check. And use that as like a blending shade up to the top. And just smooth everything right there. And there as well. So that kind of gives it a smoother look to everything. It's not as like bam. Alright, so I'm going to take the... Pro Drawing Eyeshadow Brush number 41. And I'm going to take the shade Choreography right here. This is another one that had a little bit of fallout. And I'm just going to draw that right in the crease. It's not picking up very well. I'm keeping that on the outer crease there. It's all right. I'm going to go in with Scorched with the Ulta brush here. I'm going to go right on the outside here and put that shade in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the crease and I will be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the crease in both eyes. Now we're going to go ahead and jump in with Beanie and possibly hop to it. But I'm not. We're going to do camo, then we're going to go in with Central... Central stage, so camo, central stage, and then beanie, I think. That's a beauty brush. It's a crease brush. It's very tapered. So jumping in with camo. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, that pigment there, though. What? Look at that. We're going to jump in now with bunny boo and got your back. put it on this eye but I'm not a super big fan of that in the center so I might try to cover it up with some of the blue and just we're gonna go right in with this bad boy or shall I say bad girl oh my gosh okay one two three ah 
To be honest, I felt like I'm in New Orleans. I kind of covered up that shade there a little bit. So I just placed a beanie right here one time, blended it over into the orange shades there. I'm applying it again just a little bit. And then I took a little bit of hop to it and blended it right in between the crease of beanie and the redder shades up there. So. I can't tell what these are. These are awesome. All right, so I'm gonna take the Sephora Divine Line again, go in with Hop To It, and just blend that out right there. So I'm gonna go back in, and I'm gonna put, definitely put the reds and the mixtape, like the latest hits, and strike your pose on the underneath. The line. eye look that I have going on, guys, I used ton of different shades, as much as I could, in the Sasha palette here. This is a phenomenal palette. The only downside that I disliked about this palette was the fact that it has um, a good bit of fallout, but with it being more on the lower end side of palettes and like it's a revolution, which I still gotta give them credit, dang good job guys, dang good job. Um, this was a phenomenal palette, but they did have some fallout. Now, when I applied it to my eyes, not as bad fallout at all. The amount of pigment in this palette is insane. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through with what I am using on my face today and then finish up the eyes. And yeah, so I don't want to get any longer than it's supposed to be. Before I do my foundation... I'm going to go ahead and jump in with these eye pencils here. I'm so stuck on which one I want to use. I think I'm going to go in with the Sasha pencil just since that is my one that I also have on my eyes is the palette. So I'm just going to put this on my waterline to see how well it pops up. On the top I think I'm going to do a little bit of blue. Underneath my eyes, I'm using Strike a Pose and Latest Hits with this angled brush here, right on the edge. And then I tap it a little bit so I have no fallout really. Put that on the outer corner of my eye. So I'm going to go in with the Vibe Check. Lighten up the mood. Go in with Mixtape and Smoothie Bar. Right on the inner corner. Sorry. Alright guys, so that almost completes the eye look. I don't know what I want to put in the corner crease yet just because there's not a, well bam, shade that needs to go here. I really want to put like a full on white. So, so I'm going to put a holographic color right in the center of my corner right there and I think it suits this look phenomenally oh my goodness yes phenomenally
Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with the finished look. So this is what I did and I came up with these lashes are the Adara. These are the Adara Demi Wispies in Blackest Black. And I love these. These are my favorite go-to drugstore lashes. They're one of my favorites. It's already, it is now 1.11 right now, but it's because I spent a good amount of time trying to get this look together for you guys and really spending my absolute best and gave my whole heart to you guys on the Sasha Bratz um, collab with Revolution. Um, here so really hope you guys enjoyed the video and loved it and come back for more please like comment and subscribe below and see you guys real soon bye